It's a very exciting day, I'll tell you that for a fact. So I'm sure you're thinking, Kaz, why are you stood up in your room again? Is this another room transformation? You did one two weeks ago. <laughs> You are so right. Today we're changing this. Not the rail, but like just this corner of my room. And you guys absolutely loved my room transformation last time. As I said in that video, it did take me four months just because I had loads of other things going on as well. And it feels like such a long time ago for me that that was a thing. So now I want a new change. And the new change is, drum roll please. A reading corner. That is what this part of my room is gonna be. And I don't know how it's gonna work yet. I need to move a shit ton of furniture around my room and just try and figure out how I'm even gonna fit these things in. But I've already ordered the items and they're already in my room. <sighs> So that's what we're doing today. As you can see, and if you remember from the last video, in the corner of this room is my wicker basket full of like products that I'm planning to use in the future that I just don't have room to store. Then I have my rail that has all my shoes and some leftover skincare on in a box. I need to shift this because this is where the chair is going. The reason I plan to put it here is because obviously the door behind me is a wardrobe and I need to like be able to get into it, but it really does limit me for the amount that I can do with my room. The fact that there is a wardrobe built into the wall is very beneficial for the storage space. I can't say space without making it sound like space really unusual. So I thought I'll put the chair there and that will be my reading corner because obviously the chair I can just move if I need to get into there whereas if it was drawers or this rail or something it's not as easy to move. So oh my god I'm so excited. This is literally a girl who has read two books and has now decided to dedicate a part of her room to it. I also ordered many other things like wall decor and flowers and plants and oh my god I'm so excited for this like I feel like my room is finally gonna look like what I want it to look like. The chair is so big it's just staring me in the face I don't know what to do with it. Let's get changing my room up. I don't even know what else to say. I'm so excited, what the fuck? <sighs> Why am I so out of breath from moving a box? So I realized this part of my room is actually messier than I thought. I'm gonna move the bed over, I think, because I want a bit more in this corner, but first we need to clean the floor. I've also realized there's those are marks on the wall, like coke stains and stuff that I didn't realize was there, so I'm gonna have to get those off. Generally, don't know where they came from. I feel like it wasn't me and it was my friends, but. <laughs> in the corner what the hell i've still got so much room as well so i might like turn it a bit maybe put a table there or there oh my god look at my setup this is a sick joke obviously i've still got this table that used to go there but then i've also got that and i'm tempted to put it here and shift the bed over maybe so i've got so much room over that side by the way this is not what the chair looks like i need to take the packaging off i'm so happy with it already <laughs> That was so much mess for one chair, but this is her in all her glory. I understand that she probably doesn't look the best. I've just put a pillow off my bed there because I'm just about in taking off all these Polaroids off the wall and putting leaves there instead because I actually ordered some from Urban Outfitters, which is the parcel that is right here and actually came the other day. So I was gonna put them behind my mirror over there or draped along the wall. I actually haven't decided yet, but I have a feeling they're gonna look better if they're like on this wall here. I feel like it'll just bring this together, you know? But before I do anything else, I just wanna show you what I got from Urban Outfitters. I think this order came to like 60 pounds i'm pretty sure which i personally think is very expensive for what i got but then whatever it's urban outfitters right so i've got two packets of decorative vines these ones you can kind of just put anywhere so i'm thinking of putting them above my bed and then these ones kind of come in a line so these are the vines i was going to put behind my mirror now i'm debating not doing that basically i've just got this vision so now that i've moved my bed over there's more room by the chair which means i could actually use this as a filming spot as well now and because i got my clothing rail here here, wouldn't that just be perfect to have the mirror like in front of me here? I'm actually just having another brainwave though. I need to turn the camera on and show you because this just makes no sense. So when it's pushed back in the corner, there's obviously so much room. In my head, I'm envisioning like vines along here that I'm gonna do. I've also brought a portrait for this wall. I've currently got my laptop on it to try and like flatten it out, but I don't know if you can see, it's like all crumpled. Like how frustrating. So the plan is for that to go above the bed. I'm so annoyed. It was like 30 quid as well. Like why did it come like that? Please excuse my bed, it's such a mess. But the vision is like the photo there some vines swinging across and then this mirror here i now want to put here where the shelving unit is that bad boy might have to stay there but we'll see what happens so obviously if this is 
the book corner I kind of need. So I'm going to put this on my shelf instead of what I'd normally put on, which is like my skincare and stuff. I'm just going to have to find a new home for that. How do I want it? Do I want it stood up like this? I'm just going to blue tack the cord so that you can't visibly see it. See if I do actually use this for filming, like I don't really want a cable in the back, you feel? We're all about Pinterest aesthetic, girlies. Isn't that just so cute? I'm so proud of myself. Side note, my stepmom sent me these and they're so cute. Basically my dad collects antiques and it's so cute. So I basically went to an Instax event and we got given like different colored film and stuff. So I'm thinking actually taking this wall down and doing the vines like I said I was going to or even the picture that I bought from Urban Outfitters and keeping all my Polaroids in here instead because I like them out. Like I like having them on display somewhere. So don't know what to do with that yet. I'm so stressed. <laughs> Okay, I have decided that this Polaroid wall is coming down. It's the end of an era, guys. So this is the shelf so far. I'm actually quite happy with it, I'm not gonna lie. The ukulele I'm gonna be painting soon. I'm gonna try and do it like Haring. I don't know if anyone knows the artist. That's gonna be white soon. That won't look as out of place compared to everything else. The wall is now entirely clear, but I'm definitely gonna put the picture there. UK's number one quirkiest teen award goes to me. Like, why do I not have that yet? <laughs> obviously mine for the taking. Duh. I don't know what to do next. I think maybe the vines because I'm still waiting for my photo to press. Because fuck you Urban Alphas for crushing my cute photo. <gasps> I was gonna put my cute lamp there. I might have to change things around soon. Oops. Silly me. Okay. Vines. Right there. This wall. This beautiful vine curtain creates the perfect photo backdrop. <gasps> Isn't that exactly what I wanted? I didn't want it for a backdrop though. Hmm, I didn't expect them to be like artificial fake green. I thought they'd at least look a little bit real. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Ew. <laughs> holy, holy shit. Ooh. Holy shit. Ew. It smells like tuna. Oh my god, this is unbearable. Why does everything I buy smell of fish? Actually, the pillow smell was sick last time. But still, why is that happening to me? Crisscross applesauce, baby, caress me. So I have these hooks, and one of them was hanging a photo frame up on my wall. I pulled it off, thinking I had more of these bad boys. Turns out I don't. And obviously, because this is like a rented student accommodation, I can't exactly start gluing shit to the walls. Actually, that's a really good point. If you're like wanting to stick stuff up in your room or hang a frame, or something and it's a rented place and you can't really like paint or glue anything or nail anything into the wall these from wh smiths are so good i think they're like 3.99 you get four in a pack Ooh, look at him big boy byron stop being self-obsessed you do a mr kate reveal afterwards and we're gonna go watch google box google box carol baskin you killed her husband, husband whacked him i just think you're a Bitch. I think you're a whore. I wish I was a bit taller so I could like get this bit along there. Yes. Guys, this is crazy. Why are you holding that? <laughs> I thought you were going to fall. For me. Does it? <laughs> so after all this hard work, you now tell me it's ugly. You know that funny colour of my room? Why are you looking <laughs> like you could see through the walls of my room? <laughs> I think maybe when that prints up, it'll stop your eyes from gazing. I actually see the A now. Like, I've been doing this for two hours, and I don't know why I look like I'm in fucking Jurassic Park, in the bit where they mend all the cars. It's, ugh, it's literally what I look like right now. So it's actually now 12 o'clock at night. I don't know what I've been doing for the past couple of hours. But before I go to bed and take my makeup off and look hideously disgusting, I just want to show you what I actually got from Ikea, because they're like my favorite things ever, and I want to put them together. I just don't know where to put them right now. My impatient ass is driving myself insane, and I can't wait to do it tomorrow. So I'm gonna do it now. Obviously you guys know that I have all of my journals and my books and my work stuff on my desk and I just think it looks really ugly. So I bought those white holders, like white paper holder things. I don't actually know what you call these, but they're from Ikea and they're literally a pound. Then we have my pride and joy, which I actually don't know where the home is gonna be. How beautiful that is. Can I just say you also have to buy the light bulb separately, which I was a bit annoyed at. And it does make it look like it comes with it, but it doesn't. So if you are looking for this lamp, which I'll leave in the description, just remember you need to buy the light bulb as well. Fun. Isn't that just the cutest thing ever? I'm so in love with this. That is so adorable. I can change the light on it as well. Oh my God, this is actually perfect. Also update, this is what I've been doing for the past hour. This is the crumpled picture. You can still see it's really creased, which is so annoying because I know that's really gonna get on my last nerve. It ties the place in together anyways. I decided to tangle the vines into the chair as well. I know this is gonna be so annoying when I try and open that cupboard. I don't actually go in there that often. I mean, this is the current state of my room. 
gorgeous, as you can tell. So I need to do all of this before I go to bed because obviously I can't leave it like this. So you now join me on the opposite side of the room where I'm going to put my mirror. And <laughs> the fuck? Holy balls, man. Fun fact, my granddad actually made me this mirror. I don't know if you can tell from like the back. Made out of old piping and a mirror that used to be in my conservatory. Major problemo. <laughs> I've literally got a Joe Exotic jacket. If anybody wants a haul of like the Depop stuff that I've got that I haven't put on, let me know. I mean, I need ideas for quarantine anyway. We know I'm a hoarder, we've clarified this. I'm thinking of just bunching a lot of stuff up in this corner, like the papers and stuff that I use frequently. I don't want too much to be on this side because obviously my table is going to be so close to my shelving. I don't want it to look cluttered. Oh, yay! <laughs> my legs are wide open. Don't fucking look at me like that. Fucking gaggy with this girl. Are you still recording? Yay! Yeah. And you're all being fucking mean to me. So please excuse the mess of literally everything right now but i got up super early this morning to try and sort these boxes out and sort the sides out this is still an absolute mess i do not want this to be like this at all the table that was by my bedside is now here amongst all the things that i found in my drawers i found my old film and it's genuinely making me so sad because obviously i can't see my friends during this time and this is like three years worth of memories now this wall here which is a wall to my wardrobe is looking so plain and i do have this which is like a polaroid board but obviously i've took my polaroids down i don't really need this out but i'm obviously going to keep the photo of my family somewhere so i'm thinking of taking all of this away and just doing like a film wall <laughs> it fucking hurts. so the room is nearly complete we've just got a few more things to do um one of them includes the rest of the vines i just don't know where to put them because i don't want it to look too fake you know oh my god this whole set is from dolly mix how cute oh my god shop for the look i painted this print yesterday it's inspired by keith Haring, who's an artist that i like currently by my photo wall which i did yesterday but i'm not really vibing with it there this is gonna go there tomorrow i'm just gonna go to the post office and get some hooks and and yes, I am going there for a reason. It's not unnecessary. I'm pasting parcels. Well, I have a reason. These, we're just debating where to put them. I think so, it needs something over here. It's so plain. These bitches rip me the f fuck How off. Like, I'm pretty sure they were a good, like, 30 quid. I'm gonna sleep this summertime. <gasps> I have a fallen soldier. Already? Yeah. This one's only just came out the f***ing womb and it snaps. Oh. <gasps> You're having a laugh. I will find a use for this. Like at the top of this door frame here. I think that looks good. Uh, guess. Uh, I've got loads. I've got money. We'll just have to mind the. Where are you? In here. <laughs> You just grab a book from the shell. Oh, take that robe off, oh, Daddy. Who's was up skirting me today? Why are you full cock and balls? Is gonna be on that. It's a good POV shot. You're a little bug in my toe. <laughs> POV, you are a foot fetish. POV, you're a rat. POV, you're a, a wasp on the flowers. My last road just went viral. <laughs> <laughs> And it rests on flowers. Oh my god, he on X Games mode. Your hair and makeup could have really enhanced look tonight. I hate, hate, hate your hair and makeup today. This is the end of the video, Groove Girls. I don't think my room is finished yet. I like the vinyl, it's very nice. Artificial and cheap. You're artificial and cheap. If you empty all the air out of your lungs, yeah. put your hand, squeeze your neck, the noise that you make apparently is your aura talking. Do you know what I see? To get rid of your gag reflex. Break index finger and press it on your chin. And I count to five. One, <laughs> two, three, four. Press it there, you have to show your chin very well. Okay, now get your right thumb and right index finger and squeeze between the skin, between your left thumb and your left index finger. And squeeze it for five seconds. Like this? Yeah, squeeze it for five seconds. Okay, now you've got rid of your gag reflexes. No, you don't, you're lying. I'm putting fingers in for that. Yeah, I do, we get rid of it. I'm sorry, but I'm not about to suck a dick and then be like, Okay. Did I even end the video? I don't know if I ended the video, but bye. Hope you enjoyed. Love you. Leave your feet down below. I know this. I know.